Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we'll show you the complete workflow for designing concrete beams and concrete columns in RAM structural system. After the criteria is specified, your bar patterns are assigned and your combinations are available in the RAM concrete column design mode, you are ready to go ahead and perform the design for your concrete columns. This process will include designing our concrete columns, we're going to review the model for any failing columns, and then make sure we complete our design to ensure that all of our concrete beams and columns are finished. To invoke the design of your concrete columns, we will go up to our process menu and then select Design All. Once the design is complete, we'll go ahead and click Close. And what you'll notice is your columns are now color coded to reveal the status of their design and they're indicating their interaction ratio. Now any column in red would indicate a failing column since its interaction ratio is now greater than one. To see things a little bit more clearly, we can also turn off some of our other elements in order to really see the designs. Now what we're gonna notice is several concrete columns are currently failing. Basically everything out over here in this area of the structure is failing. We have a couple lateral columns failing over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our view update command where we can review our optimized reinforcement, view the column design results. We can modify our reinforcement or material properties and save our modifications to the database. For these particularly failing columns, we're going to use our view update command to review the status of their design and also what might have caused their failure. This will give us some more information in order to adjust our model to get it to a completely passing situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with one of these columns over at the left hand side of our structure. I'm going to return to my process menu and then select view update. You're going to notice that your cursor will change and it'll allow you to select any column you want. We'll go ahead and select one of these failing columns. We're going to see the reinforcement that was assigned to this one. We can see different bar patterns. Um, so we have three bar patterns that can be assigned. We assigned two. And down here, what we're going to notice is we're going to notice the warnings. And what it's telling us is that for some load combinations, it produced data points where K L over R is greater than 100, the analysis assumption for slenderness are considered inadequate. And actually that is the same that was noticed on story number one. Now if I want more information on this particular warning, I'm going to review the report for this particular column. So I'll go ahead and say view results. And as I scroll my way through the report, I can get more information on the calculated parameters. So KL over R is greater than 100 for both the major and the minor axis. I can also see some of the other information up at the top here. So I can see what size my column ended up being. I can see what my K factor is. So what I want to do is I want to maybe assign a new size to this column. I know that adding more reinforcement or changing any of my material properties isn't going to get it to a passing phase if I have a KL over R violation, which I do have. So what this column needs is it needs a change in size. So now I know more information about this column. So I'm going to exit out of the report and then close out of the view update dialog. So now let's get more information about one of our failing lateral columns. So I'm going to go ahead and select this member right here. For this member, I see that moment capacity is inadequate for particular load combinations. If I want more information, I can also click on my view results button to get more information on this particular column. So after reviewing my column reports, I notice I have two different types of failures. 
the ones at the entrance are actually failing for their KL over R ratio. If I turn my slabs back on, what I'm going to notice is that these are actually two-story columns, which is why I got that failure. So the only thing that's going to fix that is to change their size. For these columns over here, I have a moment capacity failure. What I'm going to try doing before I change their size is maybe add a little additional reinforcement through another bar pattern in order to be able to see if that would get it there. Otherwise, I can also change the size on those. Now we're going to change the size for these concrete columns. Now an initial size must always be assigned to all concrete beams and columns, and that is done in the RAM modeler before the model is analyzed or designed to ensure that the program can calculate the self-weight, the mass, and the stiffness of the structure. You could create additional bar sizes in the concrete column property table in the RAM modeler, and then all the sizes will be available from that property table in RAM concrete, which is what we did for this particular model. So if I go to my Assign menu, I'm going to find a Size option here, and anything that was defined in the RAM modeler property table will be available here. So as an extra hint, perhaps you may want to create some additional sizes, even if you don't assign them to your particular model, and then they'll be available over here if you ever need to adjust a size. If the size that you want to go with isn't available in the property table, your other option would be to return to the RAM modeler, define it, and then start your process over again. Here we're going to select the 20 by 20 column, and then we're going to go ahead and click the single button. And we're going to assign this to this particular member. I believe this member was originally assigned as an 18 by 18. So we'll try increasing it a little bit and see if that works out for us. Now before we go any further, we're also going to try to assign different bar patterns to some of these lateral columns along grid lines 1 and grid line 5. To create an additional bar pattern, we're going to go ahead and go to our Assign menu and select Edit Bar Patterns, and we're going to create a new bar pattern. This time we're going to go with five bars along each side and we'll click on the Add button. And now we're going to assign that as an additional bar pattern option to those particular members. So we'll go ahead and click OK here. We'll click Assign and select Bar Patterns. We'll select our additional bar pattern that we just created. And actually, we'll unselect the other two. And we'll go ahead and click on the single button. And we're going to assign this to all of our lateral columns, basically along the perimeter of this box. When you manually assign, you have to make sure you select both your lower level and your upper level if you have a multi-story structure. Now you may have noticed that when you change the size of your concrete columns over at the left-hand side of your structure, the indicator light in your RAM concrete column design mode turned from green to yellow, meaning that the design is not current. Whenever sizes are changed, that will affect several other things, including the self-weight of the structure and the stiffness matrix. And since we have new column sizes assigned, our last analysis is no longer current and the model will need to be reanalyzed and designed to obtain an accurate distribution of forces for the current column sizes that are now in your model. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of RAM Concrete, return to RAM Frame, reperform the design, and we're also going to reperform the gravity design in RAM Concrete.
Now the lateral analysis is current. We'll return back to ram concrete and reperform the gravity analysis. We now need to return to the concrete beam design mode and the concrete column design mode to complete their designs as well. After the beams are designed, what we're going to notice is that we still have those warnings for those particular members that need to be checked for torsional reinforcement and everything else passed. So green or blue means passing the design. We're going to return to the concrete column design mode and reperform that design as well. After the column design is completed, we'll go ahead and click Close. And now what we're going to notice is that we no longer have any failing columns. So at this point, our forces are current and our designs are current, and everything should be revealing a green indicator light. This completes our entire workflow for designing concrete beams and concrete columns in RAM concrete within RAM structural system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.